good morning. Doctors in Michigan are reminding all parents to make sure your kids are up to date on their vaccines as they all head back to school. We tend to think about those viruses transmitting in the colder winter months. And so some of the timing is really geared towards making sure people have the highest levels of immunity moving into viral respiratory season. Yeah, doctors say there have been outbreaks in schools in recent years of pertussis, which is whooping cough, measles, and other illnesses. They're also seeing some of the lowest vaccination rates in more than a decade. Data from our state's COVID-19 vaccine dashboard shows less than 10% of children five years or older were up to date on their COVID vaccines. Community members of all faiths will pray for students before they head back to school. They'll do that on Sunday. Gabrielle Pfeiffer has a look at how they'll send them off to the classroom on a hopeful note. They'll gather here inside of Pilgrim Rest Missionary Baptist Church for blessing of the students. It's an annual tradition in Grand Rapids that's been going on for 30 years now. I spoke to three kids who will be on Sunday's program. They told me that this event gives them the boost that they need to start the school year off right. It impacted me by being like um, a historic thing in my life, like a key moment. I really do think that prayer impacts a lot of people. I think it's just fun and great for us to pray for students before they go back to school and pray for them like so nothing goes wrong before school and during school. So tell me what you're like most looking forward to this school year. Everything. Are you nervous? Are you scared? No, I'm, not, I'm you not nervous. I'm just kind of feeling excited. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm I'm really nervous as well. I'm so excited. What would you say to people to come out on Sunday? Hey, you want to hear a speech? Um, come down here and learn about the history of something important to kids that you never learned before. I like that. <laughs> Doors will open at 5 o'clock. The program starts at 6 and ends at 7.30. We have more information about this right now on our website, woodtv.com. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, News 8.